Google Ads can help your small business drive more foot traffic, phone calls, bookings, and sales by simply inserting your business in the one place that your customers are looking. And that is on the top of the first page of Google search. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. Now in this video, I'm gonna break down how you can leverage Google Ads to drive small business growth and success in 2021. Now, if you have never used Google Ads before and you're considering getting started with Google Ads, or you're looking to get more out of your current Google ad campaigns, then this video is for you. Okay, so before I share with you the unbelievable power of Google Ads for small business, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to grow your small business online. And with that happy note, let's go ahead and break down how you can leverage Google Ads for your small business. Okay, so firstly, there are many types of Google ad campaigns that you can get started with. However, today we're gonna to focus on the search network and help you get started with text-based ads as these are easy to get started with, especially for beginners to set up, they're simple to create, and these text-based ads are extremely effective for small businesses wanting to drive foot traffic, bookings, and phone calls through to their business. Now, text-based ads fall into the marketing category, PPC, pay per click, meaning that when someone clicks on your ad, that's when you're charged, only when someone clicks on your ad. The benefit of this is you're creating brand exposure, brand awareness, because your text-based ads, your business is showing up on the first page of Google search, where your customers are typing in specific keywords, so searches related to your business, your products, your services. So basically, text-based ads allow you to put your business in front of your customers on Google search where your customers are searching for your particular products or services. And remember, text-based ads fall into the category of PPC, pay per click, meaning that when a visitor clicks on your ad, that is the only time that you're charged. And your cost per click CPC, so when someone clicks on your ad, how much are you being charged? This varies based on the industry that you're in. It could be below $1 per click or above $30. It just depends on the competition, just depends on the industry that you're in. And you can use tools like the Keyword Planner within Google Ads to identify the CPC for specific keywords that you want to target. Now these are keywords that you want your ads to appear for when people type those keywords into Google search. You can also use other keyword tools to identify the CPC and the competition per keyword. For example, you can use Ubersuggest, you can use Keywords Everywhere, which can help you identify keywords that you want to target. Now, one of the benefits of using Google Ads is you can instantly appear at the top of the first page of Google, rather than the organic alternative, which is focusing on SEO, search engine optimization, which is the process of optimizing your website for search engines like Google Search. However, it takes time before you start building momentum with SEO, and there is no guarantee that you'll reach the first page of Google because your competitors could be engaging in SEO too. Now, with your Google Ads, you can actually optimize them so they drive more leads, bookings, phone calls by adding extensions. Now, these extensions are used to bulk up your text-based ads. For example, you can see some of these text-based ads here. They could be a call extension, location extension, site link extension, price or promotion extension. And this just gives your potential visitors more information about your business, your brand, to entice them to click on your ad. Now, in 2021, the majority of search traffic is coming from mobile devices. Now, with your Google Ads, what you can do with the phone call extension, the call extension, is when you have that connected to your ad, a potential customer can find your ad on Google search, find your listing, and they can click the phone call button. And that's gonna allow them to directly call your business. Rather than clicking on the ad, that takes them to your website. They can quickly call you through the call extensions and this is extremely effective for driving leads for service-based businesses. Then we also have the location extension and this is extremely effective for those local businesses that need to drive foot traffic 
to their business. Now the location extension connects to your text-based ad and basically what that does is if you've connected your Google Ads with your Google My Business listing, you can promote your Google My Business in the triple pack, the snack pack. Meaning if people scroll past the Google Ads on the first page of Google, they will see the map listings. So the Google My Business listings. And if you've got a location extension, you will appear at the top of these listings. And that's ultimately going to drive more foot traffic to your local business. And this leads us on to the triple threat strategy. Now the triple threat strategy is an important strategy that we teach our clients to implement in order to appear three times on the first first page of Google. This maximizes your exposure on the first page of Google, which ultimately maximizes clicks through to your business. So with the triple threat strategy, first what you're doing is you're ranking number one for your Google Ads. So your text-based ad is number one on the first page, the top of the first page of Google. Then below that, we've got the Snack Pack Google My Business listings. We've just talked about those with the Google My Business location extension. When you connect your Google My Business with your Google Ads, you can leverage the location extension. And what this is gonna do, like we mentioned, is it's gonna bring your listing up to the top of that Snack Pack listing. Again, that's gonna drive more foot traffic, more phone calls and visits to your website. You can see those two call to actions on the listing itself. And the third part of the triple threat strategy is your organic listing. This is your website and this is all to do with search engine optimization like we discussed earlier. And this is all about optimizing your website for search engines. So we want you to appear on the first page of Google, ideally in one of the top three spots on the organic listings on the first page of Google. So to sum up the triple threat strategy, basically you have three profitable real estate spots on the first page of Google. You've got Google Ads, Google My Business, and then your organic website listing. And by implementing the triple threat strategy, you're gonna ultimately drive more business growth and success long term. And that is it for this Google Ads tutorial. I hope I managed to convince you to take a deeper look into Google Ads as a viable option for a profitable marketing strategy for your small business. Now, if you have any questions about this Google Ads tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like below this video, subscribe to the channel, and that way I'll see you next week. Take care, guys.